Sorry, we're closed. Well, then what are all these people doing here? Drinking and having a good time. Well, that's why we're here. Yeah. You're too stupid to have a good time. <laughs> Oh, what's going on? Welcome back to the 1776 Report, the number one YouTube channel for exposing the stupidity of the woke left. When Anheuser-Busch and the Bud Light boycott jumped off, I switched from Anheuser-Busch products to Yingling. Yingling is the oldest brewery in the United States. It has a long history of pushing America first values, a long history of promoting America first political candidates. So I thought, oh, I'll switch from this woke beer to this American beer, this Americana beer, America, baby, right? Yingling. But then yesterday, I start seeing all these Twitter feeds saying that Yingling has gone woke. Yingling is sponsoring an all ages drag event in Pennsylvania. I thought to myself, this can't be right. They can't be stabbing me in the back like this. I love their products. They have good beer. I like it. I drink it. I love it. They can't do this to me. So I do a little research, and turns out this was a leftist attempt to take down an America first company. Let's talk about it. All right, so I see this article on the Post Millennial. Yingling sponsors venue hosting Pennsylvania Pride Drag Show for families. Need your drag fix before our iconic Music Fest drag show? Well, the Queens return to Music Fest Cafe presented by Yingling on June 30th. Not looking good. So we do a little more digging. We read this article and it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Beer Brain Yingling is reportedly sponsoring a venue hosting a drag show for all ages in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania to celebrate Pride Month. I'm not going to drink a beer that is sponsoring Pride shows, drag shows for all ages. Just not going to happen. Need your drag fix before our iconic Music Fest drag show? The festival's Facebook page wrote on June 12th, well, the Queen's return to Music Fest Cafe presented by Yingling on June 30th. Dragon with the Divas is a drag show featuring music performed by some of the favorite queens covering queens. Hosted by Electrica Fierce St. James, the event page states, Music Fest is selling tickets to the event through Arts Quest, a nonprofit based in Bethlehem. This is an important aspect of the story. So Music Fest is selling tickets through this nonprofit Arts Quest. Arts Quest tickets policy state that all persons entering a venue, include babies in arms, must have a ticket. It also states that the attendance of children under two years of age may not be recommended. So it's recommended that your three-year-old goes. It's recommended that your four, five, six, seven, eight-year-old goes to this all-ages drag event. Not looking good for Yingling, but I do a little more research. I do a little more digging and Yingling said, nope, wait a second, not going to happen. We don't run a company like this. We are not going to sponsor an event like this, but like, hold my beer. Let me show you how you run a company. So Yingling puts out a statement. They say, no, 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 we are not going to be doing this. We're not going to be taking the fall like Bud Light. Yingling has been a supporter of Arts Quest. Remember, Arts Quest is the nonprofit who is putting on this music festival. And then they book smaller organizations to book the actual acts, the actual performers. Arts Quest independently plans the events and policies that take place at this venue and all of their other performance areas. Yingling actively promotes responsible drinking for patrons 21 years of age and older. We are working to align with ArtsQuest regarding appropriate age restrictions for venues associated with our sponsorship. We support their decision to restrict attendance to 18 plus for the June 30th show. So Yingling had no idea who this music festival was booking. They had no idea it was a drag show. When they found out, they said, hell no. You're going to make it 18 years old or older, or we're going to pull our sponsorship money. We're not going down like Bud Light. We're not sponsoring this chaos. We're not letting kids in to a place that is going to be promoting this type of behavior. I applaud that. I like that. And that's how I think you should run a company. 
Arts Quest also put out a statement. Yingling is a longtime supporter of Arts Quest. Like all of our 300 sponsors, Yingling does not have any involvement in the acts or content that are booked for our venues. Our sponsors are also not involved in the admission policies for our venues, which varies by event and facility. This includes the Dragon with the Diva show planned at the venue in question. Music Fest Cafe presented by Yingling. Okay, so here's what happened. This is my opinion, but here's what I think happened. Yingling had no idea that this music festival was going to be putting on a drag show, let alone a drag show for all ages. So when they found out, they freaked out, rightfully so. They called up Arts Quest, the music festival. They said, if you want our money next year, you better put an end to this right now. So Arts Quest says, okay. We're going to move the drag show. We're going to make it 18 plus. We're not going to allow any kids. And does that work for you? Yingling says, okay, whatever. And I would be shocked if next year Yingling continues to sponsor this music festival. The liberal media tried to make this into a hit job of Yingling. They tried to turn this into a hit job on Yingling. Why would they do so? This is exactly why the liberal left publications are going after Yingling. Trump endorsement leads to plea for Yingling boycott at gay bars. During the 2016 election, Yingling endorsed Donald Trump. So the left saw this as an opportunity to go after Yingling. The left says, oh, you're going to take down Bud Light. You're going to take down Anheuser-Busch. Well, we're going to take down your Yingling. Nice try. Yingling handled this situation about as good as you possibly could. Number one, they got their name removed from the drag show. Yingling's name is no longer associated with the drag show in question. Number two, the event is now 18 years old or older. I believe they told this event, you want our money next year? You want our money this year? You're going to make this 18 years or older, even though our name is no longer associated with the event. This is how you handle a business. You realize who your customer base is and you take care of those customers. You know what your customers stand for and you stand with them. You walk the line with your customers. You don't betray your customers. You don't go woke. You don't push woke propaganda. You don't hold drag shows for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine year old kids. You don't push this nonsense because it leads to your company in ruins. It leads to your company failing. It leads to your company ending up like Bud Light. And I think Yingling will catch Bud Light in sales over the next year. It's not going to take long because Bud Light sales are crashing. Bud Light's in the dumpster. Bud Light's in the toilet. It's doing the death twirl and it's going down the drain with a big fat turd. Bud Light has yet to truly apologize and they should take some notes from Yingling. I doubt it will happen. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. I love you guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Until next time, peace.